editing Millie here. Um, very tired editing Millie. Um, it's two o'clock in the morning and I've been editing for about five and a half hours. And uh, I just wanted to pop in because I feel like it needs it. Um, so I uploaded all my content that I recorded and every single clip that I did, um, about 20 seconds or so in, either went into slow-mo or I sounded like Alvin and the Chipmunks uh, for no apparent reason. So um, I spent some time on Google and said, hey, Goog, how do you fix this? Because I didn't know how. Um, my editing skills have been movie maker, which is just basic um, making little cuts if there's a bunch of silence or um, putting um, title uh, clips in or putting in captions um, or adding music to it. I can do that or doing like a voiceover type of a situation. Um, it's not real advanced. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy to do. So, um, I did download another editor, um, but I'm going to have to take some classes. One of the YouTube videos I watched recommended Skillshare for it. Um, so I think I'm going to sign up for Skillshare so I can take the classes to learn how to edit videos better. Um, the program looks cool, a little intimidating, uh, especially for someone like me. Uh, I am 50 years old, so <laughs> this old dog is going to learn a new trick. Anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you know, if you see some jumps or if it sounds a little weird in spots, I did the best editing that I could do with what I had. Like I said, Movie Maker is not meant for in-depth editing like that. Um, it's pretty basic. Um, but I still think it's a pretty good video. Is it my best? Probably not. Um, but obviously I'm not a professional editor either. So, um, anyway, please be kind in the comments. I know it's, it's not, uh, the best, but, um, yeah, I did my best with it, with what I had. And, um, Hopefully I won't have this issue again. I'm going to have to look up um, on Google and find out if this is an iPhone um, 12 Pro Max issue uh, or if I need some kind of an update maybe. I don't know. I'd have to look into it. I've never had an Apple phone before. This is my first one. So, um, and I never experienced it with an Android. So I don't know, um, but hopefully it won't happen again. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys again on Tuesday. Have a good one. Hey, so I'm going to start with the Trader Joe's stuff because I do have frozen items in there. Uh, I picked up this bag of um, colorful carrot coins. I really like these. Um, I think they're nutritious, obviously, because they are carrots, but I do like them visually too because on the plate. Sometimes you just want to have that visual color that just kind of grabs you in um, with your food. And then I picked up some cauliflower that is multicolored as well. Uh, it doesn't taste any different. The different colors don't taste different. It's just visually appealing on the plate. I picked up two bags of salad mix. Um, I really like the ones from Trader Joe's. They seem to be stocked more often than the grocery store and um, we go through them rather quick so they're not um, something that's wasted on. Uh, I picked up this spinach and kale Greek yogurt um, dip. I'm actually going to mix this with some pasta as well as uh, some sweet Italian sausage and make a meal with it uh, and then the rest will be used to dip in crackers. Picked up some mini cucumbers because I love getting these. Uh, I picked up the uh, organic garbanzo beans. I'm going to put these in with that pasta as well to give it a little bit of extra protein. And then I got more some enchanted crackers because they're delicious. We talked about this in the other video. <laughs> and then I also got uh, this capellini pasta. Uh, this is for the dinner. And no Trader Joe's trip would be complete without these delicious tortilla chips. And I also picked up some medium um, cooked shrimp because we are going to have a shrimp dish this week. 
So that is it for the Trader Joe's stuff. Let me get this stuff put away and I will be back. Hey guys, so the next place I went to was Home Goods. Um, I'm becoming a little obsessed. I am doing some renovating in my kitchen as well as still redecorating in the living room, which is why I keep going to Home Goods. I'm probably going to go again next weekend. But I get new stuff in all the time, and the price drops are just ridiculous compared to what you pay in a regular store. First thing that I got was I got this kind of cool looking, um, it's almost like Indian or Zen like uh, dish. I thought it was really cool. This was $6.99. Um, I have a storage bench right here with some stuff on it that is going to be going back over where the Christmas tree is. And then this part of my. Um, my little TV stand will be exposed and I'll have this tray on the shelf that you'll be able to see from there. Um, I went in with the intentions of looking for more spatulas because I found this spatula brand that is, they're really good spatulas. The handles are wooden, the rubber's really good on them, and they always have holiday ones. I still have my Halloween and my Christmas ones out uh, and I will probably keep them out year round because they're that good. Um, this is another one, it's the Bake Shop. Uh, these were $3.99 and I got these. These are Valentine's Day themed. Um, love, love, love them. And then I got uh, some decor for my wall once I get my new shelves up in the kitchen. Uh, this will be on there because y'all need coffee. And it was $5.99. I got this really cool mug that says All for Love and Love for All. This is going to be used as a decor piece. Uh, and I got this for $3.99. And then last but not least, I've wanted a mixing bowl with a handle on it because sometimes when you're just really getting in there and, and whisking around, you need something to hold on to. Uh, and I found the perfect one. So this one has hearts all over it, which I thought was absolutely adorable. And it came with a spoon, a spatula, and a new whisk. Uh, my whisk got bent in my drawer. It's looking a little sad. So we're gonna replace her. And. Um, it does say love is in the air on the inside of the bowl, which I thought was really cute. And this was $14.99 and I'm going to use it all year round. I don't care if it is Valentine's Day related or not. So next we went to Walmart. Um, I didn't get too much there because I really didn't need too many things, um, but I did need a couple of things. Uh, so I got these cute rubber gloves with cherries up on top. Um, I'm going to be using some pretty heavy duty cleaner to clean my kitchen walls down and my kitchen cupboards down. Um, so I can get ready to put up the wallpaper and also to possibly paint my cupboards. I'm still um, trying to think about that one. I'm not sure if that's really what I want to do, but I'm leaning towards it. Um, but I figured these wouldn't hurt to have. Uh, the cleaner is called TSP and it is pretty strong. It will dry your hands out and destroy your hands like nobody's business. So I had to get those. Um, I got a pair of leggings from them um, to try out. These have pockets in them, and I thought that they were really cute. They were $12.96, and they are full length. Um, they, they have the high waist on them, which I appreciate um, because I am 50 years old, and even if I lose weight, I'm still going to have a little bit of a pooch that needs to be pushed back in. So uh, these are also moisture wicking. Uh, high rise and flexible fabric so we will see hopefully uh, you don't see underwear through them because ladies we can relate and it may be we may have to wear black underwear with these let's just say that uh, I also got this cute top I thought it was really cute and so um, yeah it's just a Pima cotton top and uh, it looked really comp and I like the color so I had to get that. I got some French vanilla and some triple chocolate coffee pods. These are for my son and for myself. Um, I have a bunch downstairs, but we needed some more for upstairs. And these were like, I think $3.98 a box or something like that for 12 of them, which isn't too bad. And then I got this Hernandez Taqueria Street Sauce Original Roja Taco Sauce. Uh, it's 10 calories for one tablespoon. Um, and we ran out of taco sauce. We have taco salads every Tuesday. Uh, and I figured that that would be good as well as I'm making taco soup this next week. Uh, and I always put a dollop of non-fat Greek yogurt on the top and a little bit of the taco sauce. And the last place I went was I went to Dollar Tree. Um, I go to Dollar Tree to get a lot of Christmas items, Halloween items, Valentine's Day items, and whatnot. Um, because I think it's really cool to 
put a little bit of accent pieces of a holiday in your house, but not having to break the bank to do it. Uh, so I got this cute little box that says Be Mine on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it up on this way or if I'm going to turn it on the side so you can see the cute little decor. But it's just a little box. It's got a little Velcro tab on it. I got two of these glitter vase fillers um, because I got something else, and I'll show you what these are going to go into as well as these cute little glittery hearts. I got them in pink and in red. I got this cute little mailbox. Uh, we have a dog, so of course we had to do a little mailbox with the dog on it, because why not? Um, I got this cute thing, and I'm, I don't know, I may leave this up even after Valentine's Day. But it says, love you to the moon, and it's just a little hanging wall art. I thought it was cute. Um, I may or may not leave it up after um, Valentine's Day, but we'll see. And then the last two things that I got was I got th these two cups that I thought were really cute. And I'm going to put those decorative items inside the cups. And I'm going to set one on each side, kind of like I have the Christmas trees here. I'll put these up with the items inside of them. And that is it for the haul stuff. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritty of things, right? We're going to talk about the weigh-in on the weigh-in wasn't a great week for me. Uh, I gained a pound. Um, I had some trigger foods that I didn't know were trigger foods uh, that I had never purchased before and they became a problem. So I'm not going to be repurchasing them even though they tasted delicious and that was the partake cookies, especially the chocolate chip ones. Um, I had no self-control with those. Um, I decided that I wasn't going to track them uh, even though I was eating them. Um, I had the cheese board fiasco. I thought I was going to have good self-control with the cheese and the meats and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, no. It went out the window because my pleasure dome up here said, Huh, we've got meat and cheese. Uh, so yeah, I took advantage of that and I ate how I wanted to eat. Can I do that and get away with it and end up losing weight during a week? Yeah. This week? No. I just had too many trigger foods that um, some were new, some were not, that I shouldn't have had in my house because I know that I have an issue with them. Um, cheese being one of them. And those partake cookies are another one. I did try the birthday cake flavor ones. I actually binge ate on those. Um, they weren't even that great. I just wanted to get them out of the house because my brain kept saying, you have partake cookies in your cupboard, so let's go get them. Um, I won't get the birthday cake ones again. I, I, it's just like a vanilla cookie with uh, jimmies in it or confetti, you know, uh, sprinkles in it. They were okay. They weren't, wow, let's eat these. Um, however, the Partake chocolate chip ones were really good. Um, for being a vegan cookie and being gluten-free, um, I found them to be very, very delightful. Uh, are they as good as my works? No, I don't think so. Um, I like the ones from my work better. But if you want like a Chips Ahoy crunchy cookie type of a, a situation, those Partake chocolate chip cookies are the bomb.com. Um, I also didn't move a lot. I didn't want to go out and play Pokemon Go with my husband at night. I, I had a, a problem with my neck this week um, to where I basically sat all day working I came up, I cooked dinner, and I sat and watched TV all night on a heating pad, uh, you know, having my neck on a heating pad because I just wasn't feeling right. My neck hurt really bad. I kind of felt kind of cruddy, probably because of all the crap that I was eating that I normally didn't eat during the week. Um, so I'm not going to be doing that again. Uh, I also do know that I'm kind of in what I call plateau season. Um, if you're new to Weight Watchers, you probably don't know what plateaus are. But it basically, after you lose a certain amount of weight, and it varies per person, um, anywhere from 10 to 25 pounds, your body kind of adjusts itself and, and kind of holds on to things, okay? So you might bounce the same five or six pounds back and forth within a month, and then all of a sudden you start losing again. It's just your body realigning itself and just readjusting to not having that weight on it. And I'm kind of in that mode right now. Um, I'm down 68 pounds and about every 15-ish pounds, I go through this for a month or so. 
Is it frustrating? Yes. Is it something that I'm gonna quit doing Weight Watchers over? No, because I know that eventually my body just owes me the, that weight loss and eventually it's going to happen. And I do know, I'm realistic. It was just the holiday season. Thanksgiving week, I gained two pounds. Christmas week, I gained three pounds. It happens. But what's important is, is that I know how to fix that. I know how to correct it. And I know how to move forward from it instead of dwelling on it. I used to dwell and dwell and dwell. If I had a gain one week, my whole next week was ruined. I didn't want to track. I didn't want to stay on program. Um, I wanted to go out and have hot fudge Sundays because pff, why not? I was, I already ruined it, right? So why not just ruin it some more? I mean, it, it was a whole mind frame. Um, some people have heard me talk about, uh, in my personal life, have heard me talk about my alter ego. Her name is Helen, Helen Melonbelly, and she is 305 pounds, which is what I used to be years and years ago when I started my WW journey back then. Uh, and Helen is the one that tells me that things like chocolate cake are nutritious, uh, that carrot cake is healthy for you because it's got dairy in, in the cream cheese. It's got eggs in the cake. It's got carrots in the cake. How can a carrot cake be unhealthy? But I know that those things are unhealthy. But this alter ego inside my head, when she wants to eat those things, will rationalize anything into being healthy. Uh, I don't listen to her. I tell her to shut up a lot. Uh, I've even said it out loud before and people just, people who know me will laugh because they know that's what I'm doing. Um, is it a little crazy? I don't think so. I just think that I'm being realistic with myself and trying to keep control in how I eat. Um, I didn't do that this week and I'm not gonna beat myself up for it. I know that it happens. I know how to correct it again and that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, I just need to work on moving a little bit more, uh, which is why I'm wearing my tank top in the house in the middle of December because uh, I am gonna go do some yoga stuff uh, in a little bit. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of chill I, I have done a lot of walking today, uh, so I don't want to overdo it, but I am going to try to get some yoga stretching in uh, just to kind of fix the mood uh, and set myself up for success for this next week. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the bottom bar down below. I'm going to be kind of watching those um, to answer any questions for you or if you need any um, any suggestions for anything, let me know. And I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. Oh.